welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now, 2022 has been an amazing year for me in terms of growth as an entrepreneur. And one of the ways that I've been able to grow is through networking. Now, I've been able to attend a number of events, meet so many people, including some of you all. And the questions I always get, no matter what the event or what the interaction is, do you have a business card or how do we get in touch with you? Now, I've seen some incredible business cards throughout my life, but I'm somebody who never remembers to carry a physical business card on me. So the way that I share information about myself or my business is actually through a digital business card. Now, if you don't know what a digital business card is, let me just break it down really quickly. So essentially a digital business card or electronic business card is just a digital way to share the most important information about yourself or your business. And so it really functions the same way as a physical business card, right? You can add information like your name, your phone number, your address, your email, your social media links. But the good thing about it is with the paper business card, you have to constantly print more when you wanna share it. And if your information changes, you need to reprint. The good thing about a digital business card is you only have to make it once. And if your information changes, you can simply edit it in seconds. And then whoever has your digital business card will now have that updated information. It's convenient, it's secure, it's cost-effective, it's eco-friendly. There's a number of things that are so beneficial about having a digital business card. Now, there are a lot of companies that offer digital business card solutions, but personally, the company that I've found that meets my business needs is a company called Beaconstack. Now, Beaconstack offers a number of things. It's a very easy to use, intuitive platform so you can make a card in minutes, even if you're not tech savvy. They also offer things like multiple ways to share the card. They offer a number of different layouts. You can customize it to your needs. They also offer things like bulk card creation, API integrations, and data analytics. You can see the effectiveness of your card or your QR code that you put out there. Now, I can talk more about why I think it's the best digital business card solution and why it's trusted by some of the biggest brands in the world, but I'd rather just show you. So let's go ahead and just do a tutorial and I'll show you how I create a digital business card. So this is the dashboard right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and create a new business card. So I'm gonna go to the create button right here, go to digital business card. And then from here, I can kind of choose which template I like. So here's the three ones that popped up. Now I'm gonna go with the middle one, only because I like this little like angled area at the top. So I'm gonna go with the middle one. And now we can go ahead and just customize how we see fit. So I can add my photo, your name, all of this stuff at the bottom. So let's go just go through it one by one. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna upload my photo. So I'll click here. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have a photo or something to upload, in this thing called Uncategorize, there's actually some like pre-made restaurant templates, but in my case, I actually have something. So go to logos. I already pre-uploaded these, but if not, you can always go to upload and just upload something new with you. I'm gonna go to logo and I'm gonna add my headshot. You can see it pretty much went and uploaded on the digital business card. So this is essentially a view of what your card will look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my name. Okay, my name is added, as you can see, and then designation. So designation is just whatever title that you want. If you're a notary, you can put notary public, remote online notary. If you're a real estate agent, you put real estate agent. You get it, go ahead and put whatever makes sense for you. I'm gonna put remote online notary. Can't spell. Notary, I'll put influencer, although I don't love that term and mentor. Okay, so I put remote online notary, influencer, and mentor as my title. And then company, I'm actually gonna make this card more for my Side Hustle Seattle YouTube influencer business, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my company as Side Hustle Seattle. If I was making this for my notary business, I'd put Snow's Notary Service, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do this for my Side Hustle Seattle business. And I'm a very loud typer, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. Okay, now you can see that I have my name, my picture, my designation, and my company name. Then if you want, you can add pronouns. Now, the only thing that you have to add is the first name. Everything else is just uh, up to you. It's optional if you want to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and add my pronouns. So what do she have? And then you can add a summary if you want. So if I was just like, you know, notary with 10 years of experience, you can add that. 
fifth, 10 years of experience. How do I retail it? You can add it like that, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the summary. I don't want a summary in this case. Okay, now one thing I love is that you can put your custom branding for your business. So I do have a logo for Side House of Seattle, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that and I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll go to browse. Again, I've already pre-uploaded this, so I'll do my Side House of Seattle logo. And you can see that it pops in on the side right here. Now that's just because my logo is square. So if your logo was a full name, it would pop up as a name. If it's just a photo, it'll pop up as a photo. But the cool thing is you get to have it on your business card. So I put that on that side and then you can change the color of the card. So purple is actually my favorite color. So I like the fact that it's purple. I just want to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to click here and let's adjust it a little bit that works for me. If you wanna get really into the nitty gritty, you can go ahead and put the hex color, you can put the Pantone color, however you wanna do it. So I went ahead and just changed the color for my liking. And then of course I can change the text color if I see fit as well, but I'm gonna keep the text the same. I do wanna change the font style and I do wanna change the size though because I think it's a little too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the font size down. I'm gonna just down to like 28. I just feel like that fits better. Right, it fits better on the card, so I'm gonna adjust it down. Actually, let me see what it's like to adjust it down a little bit more. Okay, so I adjust it down a little bit more to 26, and then I'm gonna change the font style. I don't mind this script, but I want something different. So you can choose from all these different things. I like, what do it open sans look like? Mm, potentially, potentially, source sans. I like that a little bit more. So I'm gonna stick with that as my font size. Now you can start to add your contact information. So again, digital business card is just like your normal business card. So it's gonna have your name, it's gonna have your address, it's gonna have your phone number, it's gonna have stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone number and I'm gonna go ahead and put my email. So I'll put my phone number in and you can designate, is it your work phone number? Is it your mobile? Is it your home, main, whatever? I'll just go ahead and do no label. And then I can also put my email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in also. So now that that is done, my email address is in, my phone number is in, I could add a website. In this case, I'm not going to add a website here because I wanna link it to a couple things. I wanna link it to my YouTube, my Instagram, I wanna link to my new Ron course. And so I'm gonna do that in a different section. Now, if I wanted to, I could also put what my location is. So if I wanted to, let's say I own a business that has a physical address, I can go ahead and I can put that physical address there so that way people know where I'm located. In this case, I'm not gonna do a physical address. What I could do though, is put something like, let's say I just wanted to put like Seattle, Washington. And then now I can actually link to different social places. So I can link to Facebook, I can link to Instagram, LinkedIn, you can link to uh, Venmo, YouTube, whatever. So there's a couple places that I want to link. I want to link to YouTube. I want to link to, see where else. I want to link to Instagram. I want to link to PayPal, why not? And I think I also want to link to, this one right here is just a custom URL because I want to link to my course. So I'm going to do that. Now, if you scroll down on your business card, you can see this at the bottom. So let me go ahead and add my URLs and then you'll see them all pop up. So now I have all that at the bottom. That's my Insta, that's my YouTube channel, that's my PayPal, just in case you wanna send me anything. And then that is my URL to my course. So I went ahead and added all of those, but depending on what you want and what you're looking to do with your card, you can add different things. Like I said, you have all of these options that you can go ahead and add at the bottom. That's your Calendly. So if you want somebody to be able to book directly with you, you can add your Calendly. If I was making this for my Ron business, I would add that as well as my Cash App, my Venmo, my PayPal, et cetera. So then that way, if I'm charging a client or whatever the case may be, I can go ahead and charge them that way. And it would just make it easier for them to find my payment information. Okay, and so now I can take a look at my card, see if I like the way it looks. So have my name, my pronouns, my title, my business name, my company logo, my phone number, my email right here, Seattle, Washington, my address, and then I have where you can connect directly with me. So now from here, I can go next and I can customize my QR code. So some of the easiest ways to share your digital business card 
is with a QR code. And the good thing about a QR code is you can make them into stickers, you can put them on a physical business card if you want. So like you can make a physical business card that just has your name and then a QR code, because your name's not gonna change, more likely than not, but the information behind the QR code may. So by just making it a QR code, you can always change the information on your digital business card without having to change your physical card, which is a great way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a QR code that'll link to my business my digital business card right now, and I wanna customize it a little bit. So there's some templates you can use if I wanted to use one of these templates, but I'm just gonna use the default one. And then I can add a logo. So if I want, I can add a logo to the center of it. So that's my business logo. So as you can see, the QR code now has my business logo in it, or I can choose from a gallery if I wanted to add in like Instagram into the middle or whatever the case may be so people know where it's linking to. You can change the logo size if you want as well to be bigger or smaller. Okay, now I can change the eyes. So the eyes is just this little part on the side. If I want, I can make it this or I can make it round. I can change the color. If I wanna get really specific about it, but I'll go ahead and just leave it as it is. I can change the pattern of the QR code if I want. I can change the background if I like. I can change the color of it. I can make it an image or I can change the frame. So let's say purple, of course, is my business card. I kind of like the purple theme. Let's add the scan me here. Okay, so now this is the QR code that's going to link to my digital business card. So now I'm gonna go next. Now, I can enter a name for my QR code. So let's just say Corinne's, let's do Side Hustle Seattle. Side Hustle Seattle, digital business card. Business card is going to be the name, just so I can remember which side exactly it is. And now I can start to add my digital business card to different places. Okay, so let's say that you want to go and add this to your Apple wallet, so that way it's easy for you to be able to share out. There's a couple ways to do it. So if you click right here, Apple Wallet Pass, now you can either scan it and it'll automatically get added to your digital wallet, or you can use the URL to get it, or you can email it to yourself and then add it to your wallet from there. So it could be your Apple Wallet or your Google Wallet, however you want to do it. So. I have my phone right here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just scan it and get it added to my Apple Wallet. So I'm gonna turn on the QR code reader. I'm gonna scan it. And it's automatically going to add it to my Apple Wallet Pass and I can go ahead and just click add. Now, once I actually go into my wallet, I'll click wallet and then I can see my digital card right there. And what I can see is my information, so my email, my phone number, my name, my designation. And then if I want to, I can go ahead and just show this to whoever it is that I'm trying to exchange information to, and they will be able to scan that QR code on there and pull up all my information. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like when you actually go and scan the digital business card. So this is what it's gonna look like when somebody actually scans your QR code that links to your digital business card. So we're gonna go ahead and scan this right here. So I'm gonna pull up my QR code reader. Now I'm just gonna scan it. So now it pulls up my digital business card exactly how I made it when I was on Beacon Stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the website. There we go. Now you can see it has my name, it has all my information as laid out, and it has all my different ways that you can connect with me. So for example, I can go ahead and I can click my Instagram, you know, go over to my Instagram. I can click YouTube, and it's gonna go over to my YouTube. I can click PayPal, it'll go over to my PayPal. And then I can also click on this custom URL and it'll go to my Udemy course. So it's an easy way in order to share your information with different people. And I love that it lives on your Apple wallet. So then that way you can always share it out. And again, if you have Apple, Google, whatever, you can always add it to your wallet. That means it's always on you as long as you have your phone. Now, another thing that you can actually do with the digital business cards is at that add to contacts button, if you go ahead and click that or whoever has your digital business card clicks that, it'll populate all of your information so they can easily add your contact information to their phone. You can create a new contact, update existing, etc. So it makes it very convenient for you to be able to add contact information to whoever you're sharing the information with. Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually download the QR code 
and add it to whatever you want to do. So like I said, you can add it to a physical business card, but another thing that you can do is you can download it and you can actually add it into your email signature. You can put it on to your social media accounts. You can put it on a resume. You can put it on whatever it is that you want once it's downloaded. Stickers, hats, shirts, it doesn't matter. You can put it on whatever it is that you want. All you have to do is go here, download QR code, and show exactly how you want to download it. Now, something that I really like is that once you actually click finish, it'll give you some analytics on your card and you can even get a URL that you can paste into your resume, your email, whatever it is that you wanna do. So I can go ahead and click finish. And then from here, I can see some analytics on my card. So I can see that's had five scans in total. I can even get a URL link to my card. So let's say I wanted to add it into the signature line of my email or I wanted to add it onto my Instagram page or my YouTube bio, or whatever the case may be, you always have that URL that you can then share out, text to people, however you see fit. And then if I go to my overview, I can actually see how my QR code has been trending over time. So let's say you made a QR code or a digital business card for a marketing campaign, you can see how that campaign is doing. And if for whatever reason you need to change your information, you can go to your QR code, you can go to edit, and I can edit all of the information on my digital business card. So like I said, unlike a paper business card, I don't have to go back and reprint and spend more money. I can just edit small information. So if my website changes, my phone number changes, my logo changes, whatever, I can go in and just change it at a touch of a button. Now, hopefully you got to see how easy it is to create a digital business card with Beacon Stack. And if you did want to sign up either for your personal use, for your business, for your corporation, I have a link in the description as well as in the comment section for you to be able to use. But overall, what do you think? What do you think about the digital business card? Do you currently use one? Would you consider using one? Leave all of it in the comment section below. Thank you as always for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one.